The days of these children, and for many others like them in the northwest Syria, consist of the same thing work, work, and more work. Fatigue exhausts their small bodies and makes them dream of when they'll get to lie in their bed. This is 14 year old Abdul Karim. He spends most of his time in a workshop that repairs generators and serves as a car mechanic. Abdul Karim didn't voluntarily choose to work, rather than be a student. He left his friends in school, abandoning his books and backpack, and took up work that caloused his gentle hands. Abdul Karim works long hours during the day in the hopes of making $5 a week and to support his family. By United Nations estimates, Abdul Karim is one of around 2.5 million Syrian children that are currently not enrolled in school. Also dangerous is the fact that there are 1.6 million other children facing a similar fate. This is Ahmed, a shy child that spends most of his days sitting on the sidewalk selling shoes. Ahmed is 11 years old and he has few memories of school. He only completed up to second grade before dropping out to work. It's not just the hardships of work that pain Ahmed. The wall behind him belongs to a school that a number of kids attend each day. Ahmed feels bitter that he's not attending school and feels that his dream of becoming a doctor is out of his reach. Eleven-year-old Abdullah works until nightfall repairing motorcycles. He doesn't know much about what kids study in school because he only completed up to third grade. Abdullah can recite by heart every motorcycle part and how to repair it. He doesn't want to return to school because the responsibilities he carries make working his biggest priority in order to feed his family. United Nations estimates indicate a dire situation for Syrians. Four out of five Syrians live below the poverty line. Children are the most vulnerable to these hardships as they continue to struggle for their survival and for that of their families.